at you Hey guys, welcome back. I'll be doing swatches and a little bit of review on the product called Anise. And um, if you're not new to my channel, you'd probably know that I am quite a big fan of Anise. We've tried their skin range, totally in love with it. I highly recommend to a lot of people because I've used it and I've used it now, it's been like a year and I'm very, very, very happy with their skin products. And recently they just sent me like a bunch of lip stains and lipsticks to try out and I thought, I did try them out and I thought that, you know, they deserve a separate review and a video so this is what I'm going to be doing today for you guys and I hope that you like it and so let's start with the lipsticks first so basically it comes in this black package like this and it has like a little color at the outside so which makes it very nice and visible for you guys to see uh, the lipsticks are for $16 on online and which I think is pretty decent amount which is nice and I would say that before applying their matte lipsticks do apply a little bit of um, lip balm or something so that it glides on very smoothly because they are pretty matte and they do stay for a very long time now if I come to compare this with um, any of the common lipstick brands let's let's compare it with Mac very much the same quality the fact I feel like the consistency of um, Anise products lipsticks are much more better as compared to MAC. Then let's talk about their lip stains. I am in love with their lip stains. I must say that very high quality, extremely easy to glide onto lips. It stays for a very long time. It is kiss proof. Look at my hands. This is from before because I was like rubbing stuff. But look at this. Honestly, it's amazing. It does not stick to your lips like mostly a lot of big brands do. And uh, look, it doesn't like, you know, it doesn't let your lips become sticky. So I'm totally in love with their shades. They have amazing range of colors. So you can actually go on their website and check out their lip stains. They have sent me a couple of them. Totally loving it. Totally highly recommend it to girls who are into lip stains. Their lip stains are for $20. So, well, again, I would say that it is like an investment because their lip stains are very long lasting and it's it's quite a lot in one container if you see. I don't know how much it is. amount there is, but definitely there's quite a lot. The good thing that I like about their lip stains is again, it comes in a very nice one. The one quality is really good and glides on very, very easily. So yes. And then they also sent me this all-in-one brush, which basically is used for like uh, foundation or for contouring or for highlighting. So today I tried this out, so that's why it's a little bit um, icky geekies. But um, yes, I tried it out for my foundation. I was totally loving it because I do have sensitive skin so I'm really careful with the products and stuff that I'm using so when I saw this in the beginning it was like oh no okay I said it has bristles and you know when bristles they sort of touch my pores it sort of aggravates my skin so I thought oh no this is not gonna work but honestly when I touched it on my skin it's just like beauty blender honestly it's this good so any one of you who wants to sort of try out something new and this is very quick actually so I would say yes definitely give this brush a try this is for $24 yes it's a bit on the pricier side but it does a lot of work so it's that's why it's called all-in-one because you can use it for foundation then you can use it for contouring then you can use it for highlighting also so I've done all three of them with this and they also gave me these amazing highlighters so they come in a container like this with a little sponge and a contour and a highlighter actually and so they're bronzer and a highlighter duo I like the concept that they have done two-in-one because then you have both of them together it's so easy very practical to travel with it I love the container it's very nice the highlighter is um, a very subtle one it's not to like bam on the face so people who are into very neutral kind of a highlighter would I would definitely say that you don't know, try this out it's really nice 
So the highlighter cost is $28, but mm, completely understandable because you get a bronzer and a highlighter. So you're paying a price for both, which is, again, for me, I feel like it's okay. It's not that bad because their stuff is really nice. The, the consistency, the quality is really, really good compared to any nice big brands I would say that I, I would actually go with this. Then yes, the makeup fixator. I haven't tried this yet and I don't have the price but it should be within 20s or something like that. So definitely I'm going to try their skin uh, spray. I'm sure I can say that beforehand that it's going to be amazing. Alright, so let's jump into all the swatches. Okay, so I'm going to start with the lipsticks first. Let's start with the lightest one and this is Pro Matte Lipstick. 11 and this is Milan it's a very pretty um, nude shade which has like a pink undertone it's actually it would go with a lot of skin tones I think it's a very very nice shade let's try raw number 13 this is like a nice bright red color Okay, so this is red. It's a very nice bright red color and uh, definitely you can wear it with just a liner and I'm really loving um, the, the pigmentation and the consistency is really nice and um, it's just that I'm doing very rough swatches so please kindly excuse on that part but it's really nice. So the third lipstick I'm doing is called Berry Latina and it is very much a berry shade so let's try this Look at you. okay ladies so this was berry and I really like it it's such a pretty shade the lipstick glided on much more easier because I had like a lip balm I was trying to look for it I wasn't able to find it but yes definitely but yes this is how it looks like okay beauty so now coming on the lip stains I've got a couple of shades that sent me a couple of shades so let's try with the lightest one and this is mocha it's such a pretty shade what do you guys think I really like it actually a shade which a lot of people can where it goes with a lot of skin tone and look it sort of goes with my eye makeup also silver or maybe gold one and what I like about their lip stains is that see it's not sticky at all and you can build it up as much as you want to I'm just gonna go like slow with it and the shade is so nice <laughs> smells really good and and they stay for a long time because I've been using their uh, lip stains for a very long time and they just stay. Okay, and the next shade I have is News. It looks like a purpley color. Let's try it. No, it's more like a brown color, dark brown. And look at this shade. I think this is such a pretty shade as well. I'm loving their shades. Very, very nice. I haven't built it up again. I can work on it twice. I'm just leaving it over here like that. It is so pretty. Again, it's, it's a dark shade, so I would say definitely for the night. And you can just blend in a lighter shade. I would later on probably try Mocha and this shade together to sort of give it like an ombre look. So, yeah, nice. Okay, then I'm gonna try out this shade. I was really, I really wanted to try out this color. It just attracted me so much. This is called Nika, and let's try it. It's, it's a very spring purpley color. I love this color. It is so pretty. 
definitely, I would say, it's one of my favorites because mm, I don't have a shade like this. Strange enough, but I don't have a color like this, but it is beautiful. So people who are looking for a purpley lip color, which is not like too bam purple or like too you know, dull purple, they can go for this. This is a, a beautiful purple with a pinky undertone and it would go with so many looks. I just it would go with the fair skin, it would definitely go with a tanner color. Um, yes, so... Okay ladies, then I'm using this deep purple color. This is very violet and it looks pretty violet. Let's try it out. It seems very intense. I'm so excited to try this shade out. Another bomb diggy shade, I must say. They have actually come up with some really, really nice colors. Girlies who are looking for a purpley shade, a deep violet color, you guys can definitely try this out. It's nice. It doesn't stain your teeth, which generally a lot of lipsticks do. A lot of lip stains do. Like after a little while, you realize that, oh, I've got lipstick on my teeth. So yes, this is pretty good in that way. Now I'm going to use this so looks like a nice bright red shade, blood red actually. So this is a very nice deep red color, we're just right there on the last shade and this is Sangria. This is called Sangria. It looks like a very deep, intense plum shade. These are all the amazing swatches that I did for Annex products. Highly recommend to people because I've tried it and I know a lot of you are going to love it. So yeah, so this was my little review on the Anise products, so I'm going to see you next time with a tutorial. Till then you take good care of yourself, stay safe and stay beautiful. Bye guys!